Hey there guys and ghouls, my name is Jet and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. In today's video, we are playing Dreamlight Valley where I am going to bring you two interior builds using the new Monsters Inc. restaurant items that you can find in this week's premium shop. In this video, we are also going to be collaborating with my dear friend Nora at Horrible Gaming. Nora is an amazing content creator and if you have not checked her out yet, what are you doing? Head on over to her channel and give that girl a view. All right, y'all, we're going to get into this video. But first, I am asking you to please give this video a like, hit that subscribe and that notification button as it does help me and my channel out a lot. OK, so for our first build, we are going a bit more traditional than we will with our second. We have the traditional screen walls we have our sushi chef front and center and then we have the booth over to the right and an aquarium because what sushi restaurant is complete without one of those and then i use the wooden plank chairs the barrel tables and then we will tie it all together with our red panda paper lanterns, some bamboo foliage, and bamboo lighting. And yeah, that's, it's a pretty simple build, you guys, because these new items, they're beautiful, they're really beautiful, but they are massive. And I know that this is going to be a struggle in a way to figure out how to make it cohesive and functional, yet look nice. So I really do hope this helps you a little bit. I wanted this space to be a traditional spot that you could come in, enjoy a meal with your family, or just have a nice dinner date. And I think we have accomplished that pretty well with this one. Before we move on to that second build, we are going to have a final look over of this first more traditional restaurant. I hope if you are looking for something a little bit more traditional yet cozy that this build helps you out quite a bit. All right, so we are now at our second build with these items. With this build, I wanted it to be more of a takeout type of restaurant. Um, you obviously can come in and sit down if you like, but this is more for like that lunchtime rush when you just really want some sushi, I guess. So we're gonna have our booze front and center. We're gonna have our chef over here to the side. We will use those windows once again and some bamboo walls. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a counter over in the corner um, where somebody can just sit down and kind of have a quick bite to eat. We will dress that up with some food. Then we have our fisherman's plaque kind of in that triple layer row like I did with my tavern build and we'll bring in those lanterns of course because they're traditional and gold lighting and just it's super casual but once again it's functional it's really cute I think and it's a great option if you're looking for something to do with these items, but you don't really want it, you know, super dressy and traditional. As you can see, I changed my mind with how I wanted this particular room to go quite a few times. So I do apologize for all the random transitions, but there, I just, I don't know it wasn't popping with me so i did take out that red mickey mouse carpet 
and the brown stoles. And I went with something more simple with a royal piano bench. And then we're going to take out a couple of those bookcases in the back, which hide the door. And I'm going to put in some of the windows to kind of bring in light to the area and open it up a little more because it was super dark. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a paper lantern on the end of our booth just to kind of flank it in and make it its own space. And I think that really warmed up this build quite a bit. As we reached our final walkthrough, I want to give a huge shout out to my channel members. Your support of me and my channel mean the absolute world to me. And y'all, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much for joining me. And don't forget to go check out Nora's channel. As always, I am wishing you the best day ever. And I want you to remember to keep it spooky, but most importantly, keep it kind. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye, guys.